And the next time I send out flyers is next Monday. So I'll just yeah. every two weeks. Then when I get a hundred thousand flyers left, I'm just gonna go print off another two fifty. I love the image of having them in the fucking house though, because I think that's like yeah. a great constant reminder of like remember our talk the other day with the Airbnb guy? Yep. Like I really love that they like picked, you know, they lived in it, right? They lived in like recreations of their fucking listings, right? Which is yep. so badass. That and so like they really cool. lived the culture out. So I kind of think it's nice to have them in the house. And like, again, I think there might be some comfort setting in where people yeah, are thinking like, this is just like a luxury the, house and comfort now, man, I'm fucking fired thing. up. But like, it's actually meant to be a war house, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm definitely and I looking forward to a culture, a like culture reset or using it as an inflection to have these new people coming like in place and just using that as an opportunity for everybody to experiment with their leadership skills and start growing that. You want it to be easy to make 50k a month, right? You want it to yes. get to this point where it's autopilot, 50k a month, then 100k a month, right? So just like compress that time. So I'm just gonna structure that with the new guys that come in. That's what I'm working with Jordan right now. I'm like, hey man, you want to work hard to make 20k a month, or do you want to make it easy to make 20k a month? Put in the time now, because then, then you could then that's when you focus on new things. If you want to learn something new, then you do that, because now you're making 50k a month con conveniently, right? So that's how I kind of structured for the new guys. Absolutely, man. I think that's a fantastic approach. And I know at the same time, too, I was having my one on ones with Amar. And I think it's something we need to look out for, right? Because the type of people <clears throat> that we will hire are likely to be like Amar, which is like, you know, young, hungry, driven, but also really deep into professional and personal development. And that's yep. a fantastic trait. But we do need to balance it out with like a fuckload of hard work because I don't think anybody really reads between the lines in those professional development things like tony robbins is like you know everything's going to be great but he also in between the lines is saying like you need to work your fucking ass off and i think yeah. people like to see the like i think and all he wanted was like sunshine and fucking flowers yeah. and i'm like no dude that's what they're saying but they said that after they busted ass for 10 fucking years that's to right. write the book, yeah. right like they put in unlimited hours to get to the point where they're at and now they're saying like yeah it can, it can be so great but that was after they systematized and processed and put people in place and did all the things that we're currently doing yeah um, but as the individual wholesaler like you know this it, it's a fuckload mm. of work on a daily basis to actually yeah. you know get to the point where it's okay to systematize process put people in place and then grow maybe leadership skills or whatever else you want to pivot into